James Murden here, and with smart LED lighting proving more popular than ever before, I'm very excited today to get my hands on this. It's the Tapo L900 range from TP-Link. So let's get the box open and get started. Right then, let's have a little look inside the box and see what we've got. So on top there is the reel of LED light strips themselves. Then we've got the quick start guide. We'll have a look at that in just a minute. And under here, I'm assuming is our power. Yes, okay, so that's our UK mains plug with the connection on the end. We've also got some adhesive pads. Um, the strips themselves are adhesive, so this must be to stick the power to the wall. Then you've got another cable here with the, is that the wi Yeah, that's the Wi-Fi module just there. Right, let's have a look at the quick start guide. So step one is to get the Tapo app, follow the instructions and install the light strip according to the diagram. Right, that sounds simple. So here is the Tapo app from TP-Link. Uh, you'll need to press OK, give permission to a couple of things at this point and um, accept some terms and user experience program, agree. Right, if you've got an existing account, you can sign in. If not, you can sign up. You just need to put in an email address and a password. Very, very straightforward. Now we need to add the device. So you're gonna go down to uh, Tapo L900, connect all the parts together. So adapter into the module. Right, so your mains adapter is gonna go into the Wi-Fi module. And then this end, which looks a little bit fiddly, is gonna go into the light strips themselves. Then we just need to uh, plug it in and switch it on. Okay, so the light strip should start flashing, that's good. And then you need to open your Wi-Fi on your phone or tablet and connect to the light strips themselves. So it'll search and it is a Tapo light strip, mine are called D456. So we'll just tap on that and um, let my phone connect. That's good. Then you go back into the Tapo app and it's just gonna work some magic. Found it, that's good. I'm assuming, yeah, okay, so now it needs to connect to my Wi-Fi network at home. So you'll need to know your Wi-Fi password for this bit to work. So you'll tap onto your Wi-Fi network, type in your password and hide mine. And then it will ask you to name the device. So it's already called Smart Light Strip. You can leave it at that or you can change it. I'm just gonna click next and you can give it a name. So depending on where you're keeping these, I'm gonna call these ones upstairs and click next. You can choose an icon as well if you want to and click next. Perfect. Now we're gonna check firmware. Um, it's always worth doing this, keeping tech up to date. I'm gonna do this in real time, not gonna fast forward this or speed this up just so you can see how long it actually takes. It's pretty quick to be fair. Okay, that's not bad. Under 10 seconds to download all of that. Then it will install, allow a few seconds for that process. The lights are gonna flash probably during that time. Perfect, ready to use. That was easy. Uh, right, now if you've got a smart speaker, I've got an Alexa, um, but it works with Google Assistant as well. I'm gonna click into the Alexa app. Um, and in the Alexa app, you're gonna go to skills and you'll need to add the Tapo skill. So just type T-A-P-O and it'll come up um, hopefully as the first result. There it is. So you're gonna click on that skill and you will need to enable. So just click on enable to use. And then you'll need to link your account. So you'll need to sign in here using your TP-Link email address and password you set up earlier. Uh, right, that's been linked, so that's good. It will now need to search for devices, I would imagine. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna click discover devices and it will look for any devices that are on your network. Well, it's found two. It's interesting, let's have a little look. Okay, it's found my printer as well. Right, we'll choose the smart light strip. Set up device, you can group it and specify where it is if you want to, but you can just skip that. And that's it, it is ready to use. So let's go back into the Tapo app and see what we can do with these. So like most smart lights, we can change the color. Some nice vibrant colors to choose from. You can also change the brightness. So if you don't want them quite so in your face or using them in the evening, you can adjust the brightness, no problem. Turn them off, turn them on. You can also choose from some predefined effects that are built into the app. So this is a nice kind of Northern Lights effect called Aurora. 
Uh, let's have a look at Candy Cane. Nice one for the festive season. You might want some nice warm white sort of flickering candle effects. This is quite smart as well. And there's actually quite a few of these to look through. So um, rainbow is quite nice. Something that the kids might like. Nice and colorful. Um, now this is a new feature. Click on music, you can sync to sound. So you can actually play music and the lights will dance. This is brilliant. So it's using the microphone on your device to listen to music, the beats, the rhythm, and the lights will flash accordingly. This is a brilliant feature, I love this. You can also set schedules. So if you want the lights to come on at a specific time, like sunrise or sunset, or you can set your own custom time if you want to. So let's say at, I don't know, 7.05 in the morning, you want the lights to come on a nice kind of warm yellow, you can press save and that schedule is now set. And remember, if you've got smart speakers, you can do things like this. Alexa, turn smart light strips on. Alexa, turn smart light strips blue. Alexa, change brightness of smart light strips to 50%. Alexa, turn smart light strips off. Thank you.